Uh, my best advice is never give up on love, never give up on what you want um, when it comes to your career, when it comes to the lifestyle you want. Don't let other people's opinions um, harbor any choices you make. And that, you know, if love and a relationship is what you want, then that's what you're going to get. Fresh again, ready for love. Okay, I was ready for love. I was always ready for love. So that's my opinion. Be ready for love. Be ready to give love. Um, don't be afraid to open up your heart. But also, be careful. Don't open up your heart and... You know just be easy like that for people to enter your life into your heart so that's one advice I'll give you know no when you meet the right person and when the right person meets you you're gonna be everything that they looked for you're gonna be everything that they wanted you know and it ends up being not so hard everything ends up being easy hi you guys welcome to the channel it's me Nadia how are you doing so today I want to talk about love which I usually don't do if that sounds interesting with you then let's go ahead and go. Hi, you guys. So before I make this video talking about love, let me tell you something that I love. Okay, so this is my iced coffee that I make. Basically what I get is strawberries, sweet cream, and then I get the iced coffee from Starbucks, and then I get my little... So you blend up the cream and the coffee. Oh my god, that smells so good. Okay. I'm telling you, this is so good. Mm. So good. Okay, let's get in the living room and chit chat. Hi friends, so it's me, Nadia. We are gonna go ahead and do a quick little girl chat. Uh, and it's going to be about love. It's probably going to be all over the place. I have my bullets and stuff so I can kind of help um, get it together. So, you know, when I first started this channel, I want to talk about love and relationship, relationships. But I don't know. After a while, I started realizing that I didn't know too much about love and relationships to sit here and talk about it, honestly. And then I started realizing that, you know, what I consider important to me might not be considered important to somebody else. So it was like, how can I talk about something where, you know, it might not relate to other people or other people might not view it that way. But there's one thing about love that I think is universal and that when it comes to romantic love, most people want a partner. Most people want to have a companion. And, you know, most people don't want to be alone, you know? And it's human nature to want to have a companion, to want to have somebody. So my first thing that I would say is if you're somebody who is single right now and, you know, you want somebody in your life, don't be afraid to just go ahead and admit that that's something that you want. And also, sometimes if you need a break from whatever relationship past that you have, that's okay. Take the break. So I'm going to go ahead and talk about this. So number one, when it comes to romantic love, many times it's luck you know yes we can put ourselves in predicaments and situations where we can meet somebody you know but at the end of the day you're lucky if you find a romantic partner or somebody who vibes with you that's what i believe because um, you could be the most smartest 
the most beautiful, everything going good in your life, but still can't meet that partner that's right for you. So there has a, like a lot of luck that has to do with it. Another, another thing is that I can say is if you're waiting for somebody to come into your life, don't allow that loneliness to make you desperate because some people can see that strong desire that you have to be in a relationship and use it as a way to try to control you, manipulate you, and you know do things to you that's not right because they see that you want somebody and they might not have that pure intention of just wanting a partner they might see you as somebody that they could use so you have to be careful with that and I guess the only way to really know if somebody's trying to use you or somebody's trying to abuse you is like kind of ask yourself how do I feel when I'm around this person you know how do they make me feel and also you know are you putting out the good energy towards them so that's my other thing there. You don't ever want to fall into a trap where you want something so bad that you ignore a lot of red flags. Okay, so the third thing is when I was single, I just focus on things that I could control, you know. I could try to control my career, whatever job that is that I want to do, so I focused on that. I could control if I want to look, you know, a certain kind of way. I didn't have to have a man to take me somewhere, so after a while, I start taking myself out. What, what else can you control? You can control the hobbies that you like. You can control most likely where you want to go. What about your friendships, you know? Friendships are very important. So are you taking the time to have your friends? Are you taking the time to do your hobbies? Why not focus on the things you control? Because certain things in life, you don't want to put your life on hold just because you don't have a partner in your life. So you still want to be an active person. You know, can't you still have a great life without a partner? Yeah, you can. You can go out to movies, you can do your hobbies, whatever it is, the things that you like. Still find a way to continue to be active. And that's what I feel, you know. As soon as I realized, like, I might not find the person that I want right away or it might take some time, I started to focus in on other things that I can control. And so that would be my advice on that. A fourth thing that I'll have to say is you have to understand yourself and you have to understand who you are and who you want to be and where you want to go and kind of have a vision for your life you know and so the person you're with when you see them if you feel like they're somebody that align with your life if you feel like they're somebody they are somebody who meshes well with you then when that person comes into your life you will know I'm sorry something weird just happened you'll know. You know when it's the right person for you. You know what I mean? So ask yourself these questions. Am I kind? Am I caring? If you want somebody kind, caring, you need to be that way. You know, make a list of all the things that you want in a partner. I know they say don't make a list, but I made a list. <laughs> and so make that list. And if that person has most of those things on a list, then you should be good to go. In my opinion, that's how I did it. You might not get everything on a list, but you should definitely have things that you want. And then you know, I have certain things that I completely will not accept in my life. I will not want anybody who makes me feel like I'm not the only woman that, that they're with. I cannot be with somebody who cheats. I, can't, I cannot be with the cheater, you know. And a lot of women, you know, don't know that they're with the cheater. But if I start seeing signs that you might be a cheater, it might be somebody who's not loyal or something like that, I can't deal with that. So that's a definite no for me, okay. So you have to understand what's a no for you. Um, love is not about okay number five everybody's talking about these love and relationships and everybody's like looking at it in a way where that person that enters your life is just a tool for you to make you happy you know or a tool for you to make your life better or a tool for you to be somebody in your life like do you not care about the person that's in your life you know if you have those intentions of wanting somebody in your life just for them to make it better or just for them to be some kind of tool or plot in your life, then you're missing the whole point, in my opinion, you know. So why do you want this person in your life? Are you willing to make sacrifices for that person? And do understand when you do get in a relationship, when you get married, when you end up being in this situation, it's not always going to be roses and peaches. You know, it's not always going to be easy. It's not always going to be perfect. It's not always going to be something that's going to be some kind of fair tale. There will be moments when they disappoint you and you're, you're also going to disappoint your partner. So ask yourself this question. Who are you willing to go through sacrifices with? Who are you willing to allow to disappoint you? Are you willing to go the extra mile for somebody else?
are you willing to compromise in certain situations because now once you have a partner once you have a life partner it is no longer about you sweetheart it's no longer about you it's about the unit now it's now about the unit if you're going to be in a relationship the way that I'm in a relationship I wouldn't call my relationship traditional but it's more traditional than non-traditional you know so just remember those things um and so yeah the reason why I feel like I'm not the reason why I feel like I'm not really authorized or feel comfortable talking about relationships and stuff like that because when I met my husband, I was over it. I was over it. I was not even trying to have a boyfriend anymore. I was just kind of fed up with the whole situation because there's been years where I had to date, I had friends, it didn't work out. And then I got to the point where I was just like, you know what, I'm done. I, I, I'm taking a break right now. So I was taking a break. I was like, this is not something I want to deal with, you know? So I was not even invested of trying to have a husband, trying to, I mean, let me take that back. I always knew that I wanted to be married, wanted to have a husband, but when I met people and things happened and it didn't work out that way, I kind of was just like thinking to myself, well, that plan might not go working out for you, honey, you know? Because I can't just be with anybody, you know? I just can't just be with anybody, you know? I have to be with the right person for me. So, after, so when I met my husband, honestly, it was like, um, he was willing to get to know me, one, and it was like, I didn't have to do anything for him to love me. I didn't have to act a certain way, talk a certain way. All he wanted to do was get to know me, and I guess the more he got to know me, the more he loved me, the more that he cared about me. I didn't have to do much for me to receive the, the love that he gave. And honestly, I think that's a beautiful thing, you know? When you meet the right person and when the right person meets you, you're gonna be everything that they looked for. You're gonna be everything that they wanted, you know? And it ends up being not so hard. Everything ends up being easy. Like when I'm spending time with my husband, it's easy because we're just comfortable with each other. It feels like he's been in my life and I've been in his life and we just kind of mesh together. And like all my, all my spaces go with his spaces and I like that you know there's never no boredom there's never nothing like that we could be bored together and content there's like a lot of contentment when it comes to that relationship with our relationship um, and so you know some people not, might not like that some people m might want more excitement more this and this we do have moments of excitement but when it's the right time you know so yeah I just say, always know what you want, always go for what you want, don't give up on love, don't ever allow yourself to be at the point where you dated and you didn't guard your heart and now when the right person walks in your life, you're not going to know how to open up your heart to them. You might be lucky and they might see that about you and give you some time to like, you know, warm up to them. but. Um, my best advice is never give up on love, never give up on what you want um, when it comes to your career, when it comes to the lifestyle you want. Don't let other people's opinions um, harper any choices you make. And that, you know, if love and a relationship is what you want, then that's what you're going to get. I really do believe that. It might not, it might not happen right away, but if you put that energy out there that that's what you're going to get and that's what you want, then that's what you're going to get. And one advice that I have is going through breakups. I might make a new video about that. Let's say you go through a breakup or a situation doesn't act right or there's a, something that happens in the relationship. You know what I used to do? I used to ask myself, my husband would not do that. I would think that to myself like, ooh, my husband would never do that to me. He would never do me like that. And that helped me so much because once I realized that my husband wouldn't do that to me and I was looking at this joker, I knew that he wasn't my husband. You know, I knew like my husband wouldn't do me like that. So come up with ways to like navigate the whole dating scene. And remember, it's not so bad dating, you know. You get to meet some people, see some people, and um, you know, just whatever <laughs> I'm just laughing because I I'm trying to think about dating let's see how dating went for me I don't know I just I really don't really think too much about it to tell the truth it's just like the past I, I really don't care <laughs> it's the past I haven't dated for a long time but I do know that whenever something didn't work out I would have my little week or two and then 
strip myself of strip myself I would strip myself of that relationship or whatever happened or whatever and then I'll be fresh again ready for love okay I was ready for love I was always ready for love so that's my opinion be ready for love be ready to give love um, don't be afraid to open up your heart but also be careful don't open up your heart and you know just be easy like that for people to enter your life into your heart so that's one advice I'll give you know but be ready for love and the thing about being ready for love you have to also be ready to get your little feelings hurt I know I know that's not nice to say but you're gonna have to get ready to get your feelings hurt because if you're a human being and you care and for some reason you and a person are not compatible your feelings are gonna get hurt and I've had my feelings hurt a lot of times but guess what I brushed it off okay I brushed it off and I moved on my feelings got hurt I brushed it off okay um, that's it love ya and anyways before I get off this line please you guys make this strawberry iced coffee let me know if you like it mm. I love y'all so much I'm about to go to work right now and I just had to make this video to talk to you guys about this if you guys have any other tips or tricks or anything about love and relationships that you guys would like me to talk about, okay, let's go ahead and talk about it. See, I want to put a disclaimer out there. This is just my opinion. This is just me talking. I am not an expert when it comes to love and relationships. I have no qualifications when it comes to love and relationships. None of that. I am just a woman with my coffee and my camera who likes to talk and it's online running my mouth sharing my experiences and hey i want you guys to comment let me know how you guys feel about that um what do you feel about when it comes to love and relationships are you single right now if i was single today right now what would i be doing see i already had it mapped out before I met my husband, I was in nursing school. So I was nursing school and I was going through a breakup. So I had it figured out. I was gonna be a nurse and I was gonna, you know, have my money, have my job, have my own place, you know, be a boss chick, you know what I'm saying? I was gonna, you know, travel the world, have a BMW. Um, I was gonna like casually date if I wanted to. I didn't need no man. I mean, yeah, I wanted a man, but I was still planning to like, I was thinking about other things. I was thinking about traveling, being a travel nurse. I was thinking about, you know, just letting go of the whole idea of having somebody in my life because it just wasn't working out for me. It just wasn't working out for me. Um, and so I was just gonna just live my best life, live my best single life. That's what I was gonna do. Now, I wasn't planning to stay single, but I was planning to just live my best single life, okay? Because just because I didn't have a man did, did not mean that I wasn't fly. Just because I couldn't meet a man or be compatible with a man that just didn't work out with me did not mean I wasn't fabulous, honey. I was still fabulous when I was single. And um, I didn't need a man to like validate that conclusion, okay? So just remember that you're fabulous with uh, without a man and you know the right person is going to come along but you have to be the right person sorry honey i said it <laughs> i said it not to say that if you don't meet somebody that you're not the right person but you know you get what i'm trying to tell you here I did not edit one word. I meant what I said and I said what I said and I'm not gonna take none of that back. And if you don't like it, oh well, that's my opinion. And I wanna add to that, I did try to be careful and not say anything that's hurtful, but I said things that are my perspective. I hope you guys come back for the next video. If you guys like this girl chat, let me know and maybe I'll open up some more. But like I said, this is my up.